inspiration by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest Amen. and in peace, peace to his, his people, people on earth. earth. Lord God, Lamb of God, and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, the Spirit to think and do always those things that are right that we who cannot exist without you may be, may by you be enabled to live according to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You're reading from the book of the first from the first book of Samuel. Now the Philistines gathered their armies for battle. They were gathered at Soka, which belongs to Judah, and encamped between Soko and Azekah in Ephes Damin. Saul and the Israelites gathered and encamped in the valley of Elah and formed ranks against the Philistines. The Philistines stood on the mountain on one side, and Israel stood on the mountain on the other side, with a valley between them. And there came out from the camp of the Philistines a champion named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. He had a helmet of bronze on his head, and he was armored with a coat of mail. The weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of bronze. He had greaves of bronze on his legs and a javelin of bronze slung between his shoulders. The shaft of his spear was like a weaver's beam and his spear's head weighed 600 shekels of iron and his shield bearer went before him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Today's psalm is Psalm 10, verses 1 through 14. We'll say the psalm responsibly through the whole verse. Why, O oh Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance, the wicked per persecute the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes they have devised. For the wicked boast of the desires of their heart. Those greedy for gain curse and renounce the Lord. In the pride of their countenance, the wicked say, God will not seek it out. All their thoughts are, there is no God. Their ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high, out of their sight. As for their foes, they scoff at them. They think in their heart, we shall not be moved. Throughout all generations, we shall not meet adversity. 
Their mouths are filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under their tongues are mischief and iniquity. They sit in ambush in the villages. Hiding faces, they murder the innocent. Their eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. They lurk in secret like a lion in its covert. They lurk that they may seize the poor. They seize the poor and drag them off in their net. They stoop, they crouch, and the helpless fall by their might. Forgot. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Rise up, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the oppressed. Why do the wicked renounce God and say in their hearts, You will not call us to account? But you do see. Indeed, you know trouble and grief, that you may take it into your hands. The helpless commit themselves to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are counted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his sheep, his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. So there will be one flock, one shepherd the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. May the voice of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. 
it's okay. <laughs> Good morning. I think I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> Good morning, fellow Jamaicans, and to our friends who are Jamaicans by association. First, let me address COVID. Because of you overstaying a welcome you never had, we are still unable to celebrate the way we should. We all want you gone. And to our church family, I am so grateful for all the times we have gathered here for worship. And thank you for celebrating, or rather acknowledging, Jamaica's 60th independence anniversary. 78 years ago, on Harvey Road in Whitfield Town, Kingston, Jamaica, Ms. Lambert had her private school. It wasn't kindergarten in those days. The children were between almost four to seven years old. And one of the first geography lessons I learned was, Jamaica is an island in the Caribbean Sea. Jamaica is an island in the Caribbean Sea. We had to say it over and over. It sounded like a chorus. On the map, Jamaica appears to be a small dot, hardly discernible. And oh, to understand that it is so much more than. And please indulge me as I give an overview of my native country, Jamaica. One of the most beautiful and interesting places on this earth. And I'm not being prejudiced. It is 146 miles long and at its widest, 51 miles, with an area of 4,243 square miles. The overall coastline is 635 miles. Jamaica is known as the Garden Island of the Caribbean because of its parks and botanical gardens, beautiful sceneries of mountains, beaches, rivers, and waterfalls, the incomparable cuisine, and above all, the Jamaican hospitality. All these make Jamaica the world's tourist mecca, which is Jamaica's number one industry. For those of you who haven't visited Jamaica, I implore you to add it to your bucket list. The island is divided into three counties and 14 parishes, Kingston being the capital. During the Spanish occupation, Spanish town in St. Catherine was the capital. The Spaniards occupied Jamaica from 1494 to 1655. They called it Amica. When Columbus discovered the island, the indigenous people were the Tainas or the Arawak Indians. They were forced into slavery, which eventually caused their demise. African slaves replaced them. Some of the towns settled by the Spanish were St. Jago de la Vega on the south coast, Montego Bay, Ocherias, and the unique rafting attraction, the Rio Grande. In 1655, the Spanish occupation ended when the English took Jamaica with little resistance. In time, they developed sugar with slave labor while retaining a form of self-government. In 1670, a small band of freed slaves, Spanish Jamaicans and some Africans, never stopped resisting the British. They became the famous Maroons, whose spirit could not be broken by man. Slavery was eventually abolished in 1838, but Jamaica had its share of rebellions, and martial laws, and in 1865, in the Morant Bay Rebellion, hundreds were hanged or shot. Two of Jamaica's national heroes, Paul Bogle, an ex-slave, 
and George William Gordon, a free colored assemblyman, were branded as traitors without proof and suffered the same fate. Out of many, one people. All kinds of influences go into the making of a nation, and so it was for Jamaica. More settlers came from Ireland, Wales, from Germany, on the promise of unlimited land from famine reached China and India. These were the early settlers in Jamaica. In time, through centuries, racial bloodlines became blurred. A new race, proud of their multiracialism and proud of their culture of all the races from which they sprung. Out of many, one people. An historical glimpse of Port Royal. Founded in 1518, Port Royal is located at the end of the Palisades Strip and was once the capital of Jamaica before the 1692 earthquake. In its heyday, it was known as the Sodom of the New World, guilty of every moral deficiency known to man. With its wealth, it was a commercial mecca for pirates who did a lot of business with the Jews who came to Jamaica in 1580. The destruction caused by the earthquake and tsunamis killed nearly half of the population. It was believed to be punishment for their sinful ways. Over centuries, the city was rebuilt but was destroyed again in 1907 by another devastating earthquake. It is now known as a sunken city, evidenced by fascinating relics. Education. At this point, let's talk education. The Jamaica government gives education a high priority rating. English and Scottish missionaries started education among the ex-slaves. The Jamaica government of the mid-50s opened the doors of elite high schools and colleges to the children of the masses. Primary and secondary education are now free. Most prominent high schools were founded by religious orders, such as Kingston College, founded by the first black Episcopal Bishop of Jamaica, Dr. Percival Gibson, and Arden High School, my alma mater, by Church of God missionaries, the Olsons, from the United States of America. For post-secondary learning, these are the following. The University of the West Indies, three campuses, the University of Technology, Theological Colleges, the Edna Manley College of Visual and Performing Arts, College of Agriculture, science and education, and there are several teaching training institutions. Religion. Religion in Jamaica is extremely varied. The oldest is the Roman Catholic, 1494, when the Spanish got there. The Jews from Portugal in 1580, the Anglicans in 1655, the Moravians in 1754, the Methodists in 1789, the Presbyterians in 1824, the Congregationalists in 1876. These were all European religions. The Baptists came from America in 1783 and 1814. There are many others, but the records are unclear. However, I must mention another two that came after World War I, the Pocomania and the Rastafarian, of which a whole book could be written. Jamaica's Gifts to America. Marcus Messiah Garvey, activist, father of the modern Negro, Universal Negro Improvement Association. Colin Powell, five-star general, Secretary of State, 
Kamala Harris, Vice President, Don Taylor, deceased, Vicar Bishop, Cathedral of St. John the Divine. There was a spelling bee champion, an ardent student. Sandra Lindsay, COVID nurse, awarded the Presidential Medal of Honor recently. Jamaica's gifts to the world. Remember Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Shaggy, Hussein Bolt, Bauxite, Blue Mountain Coffee, Appleton Rum, Red Stripe Beer, and Jerk Chicken or Pork. Now back to the history. 1938, William Alexander Bustamante founded the Bustamante Industrial Trade Union to improve the lives of the working class. Norman Washington Manley, a Rhodes Scholar, founded the People's National Party. In 1944, Jamaica achieved universal adult suffrage, and in 1955, an old Jamaican elected parliament. In 1965, the Sugar Workers' Pension Scheme was absorbed by the new national insurance which covered old workers. And in 1959, a declaration of independence for Jamaica to be liberated from Britain. The chief minister would now be the premier. But in 1962, what we celebrate today, Jamaica achieved full independence and Sir Clifford Campbell became Jamaica's first na native governor general. Jamaica as a nation has traveled a long road through the centuries, 1494 to 1655, suffering the invasion of two powerful countries, Spain and England. Slavery, plagues, malaria, polio, and other diseases, rebellions and martial laws, beatings and hangings, earthquakes and fires, a coming together of people who were brought here by force or settlers seeking a better life or indentured laborers. The result is a resilient people, a proud people, coming from many to be one, one love. As we celebrate another milestone, 60 years in our history, let us remember, yes, we are a proud people, but wherever we are and whatever we do, we represent our country. We are ambassadors of Jamaica, our pride and joy. And in closing, I am going to recite the Jamaican National Anthem, and I'm going to say it as a prayer. And if you know the words, you can say it with me. Eternal Father, bless our land. Guard us with thy mighty hand. Keep us free from evil powers. Be our light through countless hours. To our leaders, great defender, grant true wisdom from above. Justice, truth be ours forever. Jamaica, land we love. Teach us true respect for all. Stir response to duty's call. Strengthen us, the weak to cherish. Give us vision, lest we perish. Knowledge, send us, Heavenly Father. Grant true wisdom from above. Justice, truth, be ours forever. Jamaica, land we love. Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica, land we love. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And just please stand before the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, God the, the Father, Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth of, of all that, that is seen and unseen. We, we believe, believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only Son, Son of God, God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now the prayers of the people. <clears throat> also can be found on page uh, 392 of the Book of Common Prayer. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Carly, our bishop, and for all the bishops, for Rose, our priest, and other ministers. For all who serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. For Ukraine, Ethiopia, okay. and any other war-torn areas in the world. For the bishops and the Anglican Communion, communion who, who gather, gather at, at Lambeth, Lambeth Palace with the with Archbishop of Canterbury, for a 13-day retreat, retreat and conference. For Edwin, Trudy, Janice, Marianne, Janet, the Farrell family, Bob, Vincent, Nancy, Saul and Susan, Mary, Allison, please add your own petitions, either silently or aloud. We pray for all these young people, especially in this week, that were killed for no reason. And now we pray for those who are traveling this week. Kelly Crick. Anyone else? Let's say the prayer. O God, o God whose, whose glory fills, fills the, whole the whole creation, creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, go. preserve those who travel, travel in particular, in particular, all these gathered here and those who travel with them. Surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger, and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We, we pray, pray for, for the, the social, social committee of the month, month 
which are the men's group and the book club. We pray in this month of August, which is American Artist Appreciation Month. Please add your own petitions, either silently or aloud. And now for birthdays. Anyone celebrating birthdays uh, in the past week or the week to come? Yes, we have some here in the room. My son is turning 40 on August 9th, and he's feeling old, and <laughs> I am feeling old. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Anyone on Zoom? Marley. Arlene Voucher. Marlene Voucher. I apologize. Let us say the prayer. Watch over, Watch your, over your children, children O Lord, Lord as, as their, their days, days increase. increase. Bless, Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them, them when they stand. stand. Comfort, Comfort them, them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts, may your peace which passes all understanding abide all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now for anniversaries. Anyone celebrating anniversaries in the past week or the week to come? We have Jennifer and Robert. Yeah, um... Cecile and Errol Simpson, we're celebrating our 40th wedding anniversary. Congratulations. And we will be celebrating it in Jamaica in a week's time. So. Nice. Let's say the prayer. Gracious, Gracious God, God, we, we remember, remember with, with great, great thanksgiving, thanksgiving the vows of love, love and commitment to you and to, to each other, other made, made by these persons and Robert, Cecile, and her. We who are before us this day. We pray, we pray for your continued blessing, and we pray that they may learn from both their joys and their sorrows, and discover constantly new riches in their life together in you. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Before we go on, I want us to pray for the people being baptized next week. Four young children and one adult. Dylan, Ila Alana, um, Serene, Shairis, and Malika, who will baptize next week. We will exalt you, O God our King. And, and praise your name forever and ever. We will pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For Don Reynolds, whose funeral was yesterday. And for the people who have died in all the mass shootings that continue weekly in the United States. Please add your own petitions. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. We also pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, us most merciful Father. Father. In, in your, your compassion, compassion, forgive us our sins. Known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so hold us by your spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And as a reminder to stay in your, around your seats today because of COVID precautions. And, but, but the peace of the Lord be always with you. And peace, all with you. Peace, everybody.
Peace to those of you who are on Zoom. Okay. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for all gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to the Lord and time for now the offertory. The Lord be with you. Lift your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our It is right and a good and joyful thing always and every day to give thanks to you. God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, for you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Holy gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for your sin and become subject to evil and death. In your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your 
Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of your redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his redemption and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people, the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into that joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask, and I think I forgot the consecration of the wine, and so we'll do it now. After supper, he took the cup of wine and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. All this we ask through your son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the hall. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. And together, Jesus, you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you before all things. I long for you in my soul. Since I have found the keep you into my heart, oh, you will have my faith come. I face we see my heart and see. Let me eat this separated from you. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Bill? Oh, I need, yes, I need the other one. Yeah. No. I've already put water in it.
shall conquer all fear that each heart may ward. Sorrow from all mankind shall go away. For come ye that labor, come ye heavy laden, to you and all mankind comes peace to Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries of the of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do love and serve you as the faithful witnesses of your saints our Lord, to give to you and to the Holy Spirit the honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Please be seated. An announcement that is not in here, which is what I'm going to start with, and that is we have a lot of food um, in the fridge or just outside the fridge that it's, if it's not taken home or eaten today, will go bad and will have to get thrown out. There's sandwiches and everything. So Carmen is going to have it out. If any, we're not having an official coffee hour. If you are able and want to and you feel comfortable having some food here that's fine please however take food home because no one wants to take have throw food out there is um, a lot of it so that's the first thing um, this backpack um, fun uh, not a fundraiser but a donation is Ad are either Adrian or Nancy on and if not, okay, just I announced it last week. You can read it in here. It's wonderful to be able to fill backpacks for those in need. And there's a list of articles that should go in them. And then separately, um, gift cards from only two stores. And I believe that's um, Walmart and Target. But don't put the gift cards in the backpacks. And just read the rest of it. Design, des designer bag night. Do, we wanna, do you want to say anything? There's a, a, if you want the people on Zoom to hear you, you need to use the mic, basically. Hi, just reach out to me for tickets. Um, I'm already soliciting um, people to sell tickets for me. Um, so if you need tickets, just reach out uh, to me and um, I'll be able to get you the tickets. It's on uh, Saturday, September the 10th at the Woodland. And uh, we're also soliciting donations for the various events that will occur within that designer bag event. Okay? I beg your pardon? 
Well, okay, if you haven't heard about it, it's a designer bag game night event. It's a night where we will uh, play 11 games of word search in different um, patterns, and the winner will get a bag for each 11 games, and within that event, we will have a wine pull, we will have calendar raffle, we will have a tricky tray, and some other uh, events there. So I'm looking forward to you bringing your friends and neighbors uh, to the event, uh, and we want it to be the first of an event that we continually have within uh, St. Andrew and Holy Communion. We want this to be one of our major fundraisers, um, and it's going to be supplementing the budget at uh, St. Andrew and Holy Communion, and also some of the um, outreach. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The out programs, ESL, as well as North Porch and Trinity Soup Kitchen which is Christine's uh, soup kitchen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, um, and the rest of it, please read the bulletin, and we'll close with the closing hymn, I, I Vow to Thee, My Country. Before you go to bed tonight, drink a glass of this to help clear out eye floaters. I was skeptical it'd work. And let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.